So hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here in Berlin. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible film. For people who don't know anything about it, what can they expect from Silver Haze? Um, well, thank you for <laughs> being here with me. Silver Haze is based on uh, some true events within my life. Um, and it, it takes you on a journey of being angry and then becoming like uh, a forgiving person as such. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and obviously it's not your first time working with Sasha as a director. What was it like collaborating for a second time? And I guess, did it, was it a bit easier coming in this time? Yeah, oh yeah, when I, when I first did Dirty God, it was quite emotional. Um, I was very, I hid myself for a long, long time. And with Dirty God, it was, I had to show my scars to the world, you know, and, and it really, I mean, doing Dirty God saved my life because I was in such a dark place before that and it was very emotional filming it because, as I said, I, I hid myself for so long and then it was like, fuck, the world's now going to see my scars, what I've hid for, for a long time. And then when we was um, planning Silver Haze and when I was on set, I just had, I don't know, something just came into me and it was like, you've got this kind of thing. And um, I don't think I've actually cried yet. <laughs> you know, I know it's, it's a very personal story, but... I'm so honoured to be able to show it to the world and, you know, to showing people that giving up isn't an option. Whatever life throws at you, 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 you take it on the chin, you, you might fall a bit, but you pick yourself up and that's what I've done, you know, and to be able to express myself in such a way is, is just, it's, it's incredible. And telling such a personal story and kind of this blend of fact and fiction, you know, your own family kind of mm -hmm. being in there. Was that ever challenging or how did your family react to that? Or in a way, was it kind of fun? Because you, you're sort of more comfortable with your own family, aren't you? So you can kind of be more free, actually, in some it ways. Was, it was just, like, I'm so proud of them. I'm so, so proud of them. Like, my brother Billy, my sister Charlotte, my nephew Mason is also in the film. And I just, like, last night at the premiere, I was just looking at them both and I just thought, like... I can't believe we've been given this opportunity to to be able to tell our story in such a way and they absolutely smashed their performance and I mean my brother especially he's a very reserved person like he's not he's not out there and the fact that he walked the red carpet last night was just it's just incredible to have this experience to share my experience, like my experiences within the film industry because I don't I don't think they realise what goes on behind the scenes, you know. Um, everyone just watches a movie and it's like, oh, yeah, well done. But what goes within the film and, like, the strength and the love that you need to put in, it's, it's hard work. It is very hard work, but it's so rewarding after. Like, now I'm just thinking, like, all that hard work and look where we are now, you know. It's worth it. It's so worth it. And Esme is absolutely incredible in this as well. Oh, she is, yeah. And, you know, just the authenticity of the relationship you're both mm -hmm. able to put forward on screen. What was it like working opposite her? And did you ever have challenging moments together or is um, it always a lot of fun? No, I don't think there was uh, any challenging moments. It was just more like... I'd, I don't think I could have had a better on-screen girlfriend. Um, and the way she played her part was just spot on like she just smashed it you know and she's got obviously a lot more experience than I have um, and how things work and how things should work and how things you know um, and Silver Haze was a very small budget um, and I think the only thing that was a bit yeah as Esme said there wasn't enough cups of coffee and tea but other than that no it was we we had a great time yeah she was saying that she actually found it quite difficult when she was having to sort of like say certain things to you because it felt too real. Yeah. Did, did, did you have any scenes that were a bit difficult in that so way? We, we improvised a lot of the scenes and to be honest with you, I didn't know, I didn't know she was going to come out with it. it. And like when she said, oh, everyone's been in a fucking fire, like, uh, you know, people get burnt all the time. It's like, did you just say that to me? Like, it was kind of one of them moments and... I love the way Sasha allowed us to improvise and things because, as I said, it was I weren't expecting her to come out with something like that. And then after she was like so apologetic, like, I'm really sorry, have I upset you? And I was like, no, you haven't. This is what we want. We want real reactions, and that's what we got. Yeah. 
And, and in terms of, you know, having to do any of the intimate scenes, I mean, there's been a lot of chat lately about whether we need intimacy coordinators and things like that. Do you ever find those kind of scenes difficult? And do you feel like it's good to have someone on I hand, have that feeling of trust? I think uh, it would be difficult if you didn't have the trust. Um, I mean, I've worked with Sasha, I've known Sasha for years now. <laughs> um, and the way she works on set just makes you feel so comfortable and you don't even feel like you're... I don't know, it doesn't even feel like it's a sex scene. Does that make sense? Like, it doesn't feel like we're filming it, you know? It was just so natural and so easy to do. Um, it didn't feel uncomfortable. I, di I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. And the way Tibor, the DP, filmed it as well and made you feel in the room was just so loving, you know? And it, yeah, it's just amazing. And one of the things explored is the characters, you know, sexuality. And it made me realise that actually, I think we're seeing more and more queer films, but they're often about men and men's yeah. relationships. So do you think that that's kind of another taboo or another area that we need to explore more on screen? And was that something important to you? No, I, I agree. I think, I think it needs to be put out there more. But I also think at the same time, it shouldn't just be uh, the, the top subject of, oh, is it, there's lesbian scenes in there. Like, no one says that about the straight scene, you know. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it is a bit of a taboo subject, yeah, um, being gay and things like that. And especially with being a woman, um, as you said, there's a lot of gay men. And I think gay women should be perceived more on screen. It should be allowed more. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to answer it. <laughs> in terms of what people can take away from watching the film, you know, obviously there are plenty of parts of the story that, you know, are traumatic and difficult and can be quite heavy. But actually, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of warmth, there's a lot of laughter, there's a lot of humour. And they're kind of in quite, you know, good balance. So yeah. do you think, you know, what do you think people take away after they've watched the film? Um, I hope people just, I don't know, I mean, I... As I say to the other journalists, I, I, my ultimate life goal is to be able just to have a small little impact on someone's life. I'm a nurse as well. Um, I have been nursing for 10 years and I always say to myself every day, I need to make someone smile and then I've achieved something for that day. And it's the same with this film. I want, I want people to be able to see my character and me and think, right, OK, if she can do it, I can do it. And it doesn't matter what life throws at you. Pick yourself up because it's not the end, you know. And it's a bit of sweet moment within the film as well because it's like I've had so many people say to me, "How do you do it? How do you get up every day? How do you embrace yourself?" And to be honest with you, it's been a challenge. It's been it's been a fucking hard challenge because with Dirty God, I, as I said, I didn't want to show myself and I weren't expecting to be so exposed. And it weren't until I see Dirty God for the first time, I didn't see myself see someone else but with my scars and I thought that was the moment I thought there's nothing wrong with me you know and that, that and that moment saved me and I want people to watch Silver Haze and have that you know that uh, that outlook on life of whatever life throws at you it's not the end it's not the end of the world keep going Giving up ain't an option. <laughs> and are you going to work with Sasha again, or what are you going to do next, you know? I would absolutely love to work with Sasha again. If I get the opportunity, of course, I'm going to grab it with both hands. Um, but no, if I, if I get another acting role, then so be it. But until then, I will continue doing my nursing. So, yeah. <laughs> and what does it mean to you to be here in Berlin? It feels like it's such an incredible atmosphere here, and there's such a kind of diversity in the people that it's, it doesn't it. feel too exclusive, perhaps, like some film festivals do. So, so many amazing people I mean, here. we went to Sundance with Dirty God, and that was absolutely incredible. But being here in Berlin is just like... It's a dream come true, you know? It's, it's just something that I would never have thought would have happened and it's happened and I'm so grateful, so honoured to be here and the festival's fucking amazing. Like the red carpet, wow. <laughs> well, it's been so amazing to chat to you. Thanks so much for sharing all that. Really enjoy your time here. Thank you. Thank you.